All right, so here we go. USL Championship Playoffs. We start with Birmingham. The Birmingham Legion. And Birmingham was able to defeat Indy 11 in the uh, wild card playoff match. They won what uh, looked like it was an exciting game, 2-1. to one. They needed a penalty in the 87th minute, but um, they were victorious. That will mean that they'll come into us not quite fully fit right as they are um you can see their guys are in the 80s a couple guys in the low 90s and you know they'll probably sub a little bit here and there um i don't have a scouting report on them which is kind of ridiculous considering i've played them twice but whatever <clears throat> um my guys are ready to go my first 11 are fully fit except the cam and nazareth are a little or 96 percent close enough in uh, my bench, not as fit as I would like them to be, obviously. I'd love for them to be 100%, but they're close enough to where I feel like I could put a guy in and not really be overly concerned with his fitness level. But um, let's go ahead and get it started. Birmingham Legion, kind of exciting. This is uh, <clears throat> obviously one-off playoffs, right? It's not two legs. I've... You, you have to it's a it's survive in advance is the best way the old american um whatever cliche that we attach to tournament play and so uh birmingham is definitely capable of getting a win against us but i feel pretty confident in this actually if i want to they're probably going to bunker in so i'm gonna overlap uh, yeah i feel confident yeah they're defensive so take a little bit more of a methodical approach you got to do that well at least in my experience I, I like to do that to try and break the team down a little here comes beckles back to mccarty to mukhtar shot <clears throat> blocked first shot of the game is blocked Tell the guys to get creative, and we have a corner and about three shots get deflected before it finally ends up in the keeper's hands. Cam to Leal, and it's headed out, but McTar scoops it up. Lovitz, who, who is that even? Lovitz is just, I can't. Uh, Lovitz. <clears throat> Beckles drops it to McCarty, to Godoy. Some of you are probably thinking, well, if you hate Lovitz that much why do you keep playing him I don't hate Lovitz first of all it's not Lovitz's fault right he, he's doing his best I'm the manager that puts him out there but really he's my best option and Liao gets a volley but he puts it right in the keeper's hands so they all pack it in and Birmingham with a highlight that makes me a little nervous Will they get a shot? <laughs> All right. Guys fell asleep a little bit there at the end of the half. You might play a team that you beat 5-0 in the playoffs, and then uh, you're not quite as sharp as you'd like to be, and they bunker it in and make some plays, and next thing you know, you know you're in a shootout. Dunlady to a cam. Dunlady to Leal, and there he finds it. Slips it through. That will probably do it. That, I just, I really just needed the one, most likely. Cam here just sends it, drops it to a Dunlady who chips it across the goal, and Liao slips it through the narrowest of angles. Another corner for us. Tar puts it in, and Madranda. No, uh, own goal. <laughs> By, I'm not going to try to put well, all right, Crognail? Krog, Crognali? <laughs> uh, that'll put this game away, so we will survive in advance and move on. Mukhtar with a free kick, puts it wide. Give the guys a little praise before we hit the end. Mukhtar with a free kick near the center circle. <clears throat> and, oh, <laughs> Don Lottis puts it away. That's kind of funny. Like, we go the we go 77 minutes and can't get anything and then we get three goals in the last 13 minutes 
Obviously, the first goal opened Birmingham up a little bit, but, like, that was a set piece. And we still have highlights. This surely is it, though. Yeah, that's the end of the match. So, 3 nothing win over Birmingham. So, we are going to move on now to the conference semifinal. We'll see who we play. Um, we know yet. Now we play the winner of North Carolina FC and Hartford Athletic. Uh, good job, Nolani. And we'll do the real this press conference real quick. I was pleased with the result. Nah, never had any worries. Uh, I usually I just, so I don't use I don't pile on the referees. Um, Sometimes I want to because it, you know, it does irritate me. But I don't know. I always fear the FA coming down on me. All right, so we got North Carolina FC. That's another team that's relatively close. Um, and they had a pretty good year. I think they were fourth. Let's see. Yeah, they finished fourth. During the regular season, uh, we did we did lead we did have the most goals, seventy eight goals. I knew we, I knew we were up there. Um, so North Carolina, they they'll they're better than Birmingham. So that'll be um, now they also aren't gonna pack it in like Birmingham did. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a scouting report for the next match. But uh, I'll uh, I'm gonna stop recording there, and then I'm I will pick back up at the beginning of the North Carolina FC game. All right, before I get into that North Carolina FC match, I thought I would, um, I don't know, show you guys when I'm in a tournament playoff situation, I can't, with, with training, I sort of decide that, you know what, training is over. Um, <laughs> the player development training is over. Now I need to win. I need every possible edge I can to win and to survive and advance. So what I do, I start out with uh, going through the tactical um, attacking play, sh you know, sh attacking shadow play, defensive shadow play. Then I make sure that the last session every every day is a match prep session, right? So I'm de defensive shape, attacking movement, match practice. Then I uh, I do a practice, which I guess the idea is you know to get the team ready, whatever. Um, I try to think of how I would do it in real life, right? Big playoff game midweek, yeah, we're probably going to have a, an 11 on 11, you know, run through a match, uh, go through some of the stuff. Um, then Thursday, have match tactics, um, match preview, and then um, I also make sure I get all my set piece work in, right? I go through every set piece category, uh, hopefully, you know, so that my team is as ready as can be for for the you know the big match right um you know, set pieces is big it's an important role like you just saw the birmingham game uh i had at least two goals on set pieces maybe maybe they were all set piece goals i can't remember i can't remember now but afm set pieces are important so um it's just an area of of training in, in a in a win in a, in a win or go home playoff situation i want to make sure that I, my team is as prepared as possible and gets every edge possible so that's what i do with training if you've got better ideas if you have a criticism by all means post it let me know all right here we go so now we are in the <clears throat> conference semifinals. um i guess overall it'd be quarterfinals for all, the, all of the usl championship there's eight teams left four teams in the east so conference semifinals against North Carolina FC. I feel like the team's ready. Uh, North Carolina FC is not a terrible team. They, you know, they were, they finished fourth during the regular season. They have some players that are capable of causing problems. But let's see what happens. They're playing cautiously, but not defensively. So, yeah, here lays it off for Beckles, who scores in the ninth minute. See, that's <laughs> that is the one good thing when teams are a little more aggressive is that you you'll find space. And you know, I mean, <laughs> this obviously is a case of Beckles just finishing, 
right? That we, we did not finish very well, at least early, against Birmingham. We didn't start finishing until the 77th minute. Looks like we're going to go into the half. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty dominant right there. Almost 70% possession, out shooting the other team 17 to 1. Uh, love it to Mukhtar. Banji skins his defender, and I don't know if that was a cross or a shot, but it's put out to touch. Well, put out across the end line for a corner, and oh, point blank save by Tambakas, the. North Carolina goalkeeper. Oh, no. We got a counter. Oh, um, just a comedy of errors right there. Ah. Look at this. Beckles slid in with a yellow card. Then we get a cross, and yeah, and then another slide. Who was that? Who was three? Love it. <laughs> Love it. I'm going to save my subs. I've got two subs to make. I'm going to hang on to them in case we go to extra time. Although in USL Championship, I get another sub. Oh, I can with the shot that goes right to the keeper. Here we go again with not being able to finish. Mukhtar shot. Keeper saves it. And we get a corner. Mukhtar with the corner. Why are you in no hurry? Take it. All right, we're going to extra time. Corner kick. Mukhtar puts it in. Oh, we have a penalty. Should be Mukhtar. Yes. Come on, make it. Yes. Okay, we got a 2-1 lead. All right, now we have it on there. In Johnston drops it to Godoy. Gets to Mukhtar. Godoy, Mukhtar. And now we're just farting around. Baba, Ani Baba, Ani Baba is not afraid to attack the space. I like that. He's cross. Oh, and Mukhtar, that's gonna put it away. All right. See why? <laughs> we can't just we can't just win the game, right? We got to go to extra time, and then we get to extra time and bang bang, we score two goals. Like do this during regular time. But, you know, that's playoff football. That is playoff football. And we're about to get a third goal on that free kick there. I mean, look at those stats. Outshot them 27 to 16 on target. It's absolutely ridiculous that we couldn't have already... And we give up one goal on a counterattack because Daniel Lovitz can't make a tackle. So here we go. We're on their end again. Johnson drops it to, or gets it to McCarty, and ooh, Madranda shot off the po or the bar. Tell the guys to get creative. Let's get another one. Free kick, and now yep, there's another goal. It's on a set piece. It's an own goal by the by their by their Daniel Lovitz, <laughs> Duvernay. Yeah, I feel your pain, North Carolina FC. I feel your pain. So this should be the highlight that ends everything. We're trying to hear attacks the space, drops it to Alibaba. And that will do it. So we're off to the conference final. Took longer than necessary. All right, we are now into the conference finals. Things start to get a little more intense the deeper you get into the playoffs. And our opponent today will be St. Louis FC, probably the second best team in the USL Championship division. Um, you look at their star ratings, they're not overly impressive, but they've got some good players, some guys that can, that can cause problems for me. Now, this is a team that can score, um, if they have to, they're also, they're, I won't look at everything, but their mentals are high. So they're going to be a team that's organized, difficult to break down. And so that's going to be my challenge today is can we break this team down? All right, boys, let's get this done. Cardi drops it to Godoy, to Mukhtar, who goes over the top to Dunlady, and Dunlady can't pull it in. 
Bobby gets to love it. Doy. All right, let's rotate it here. Oh, nice. Love it. Cross and Leo with the goal, and we're up one nothing. 27 minutes in. It's kind of well worked here. We were a little tight right there. Lovitz, Lovitz was probably too far, but you know what? He was part of the sequence that got the ball to Liao, who knew just what to do with it. All right, so tell the guys I'm happy. I'm going to try something just for a minute. They're, they're the left side of their formation is a little more aggressive, so I'm going to try focusing play down the right. coming at us a little more so i'm gonna go cautious oh yeah with this second you know what i'm a genius that was the right side i'm gonna i'm gonna call that a tactical success right there donlani's bringing it down the left whips a crossover where liao has beat the left back gets his second goal and now we're up two nil all right they're really coming at us now Nunga has it. Ooh, beats his man. Oh, and a cam. What a run. Oh, my good. That was just a good sequence right there. Anunga wins the ball, attacks the space, could have laid it out for a Lovitz overlap, but instead whips it all the way across for a cam who gets in behind the backs, finishes it, finishes St. Louis FC's season. We are going to the USL Cup. We are going to the USL Cup Final. St. Louis, though, not giving up. Guess you got to hand it to them. They're not quitting. And that's it. That's it. No, I wouldn't call it like uh, yeah, uneven. I guess is what I would call that. Six shots each, right? I mean, but St. Louis, they were, you know, they played their game. They've stayed organized. Tough to break down. Uh, Beckles called up. November 16th, that means he's gonna... <laughs> that figures. So there's gonna be a international call-up. And I'm playing Orange County. Orange County had the second best record. I still feel like St. Louis FC is better. I looked at the squads. And here we go, USL Championship Cup match. We are taking on Orange County in this, uh, I believe this is like episode eight or nine of the Iron Manager series. And we will look real quick at Orange County. So this is the... They had the second best record in the league this season behind us, of course. They are a very good team. Their striker in Nevelton is um, obviously high determination, a lot of flair. Uh, he's good off the ball. He can, and, you know, he's got very good vision. His finishing rating might not be super high for a striker, but, I mean, you know, he, he, he scores goals. The guy has 19 goals. For us, we've got some issues. Godoy, of course, called up on international duty. And I jinxed myself by saying that um, he should have, you know, Godoy should have been being called up, but had not been. Well, <laughs> of course, they called him up for the biggest match of the season for us. Beckles also called up on international duty, so he will be gone uh, he was with Honduras. And, of course, Nazarik picked up a suspension, a yellow card suspension. He is probably my best defender. So that's, you know, those are three starters that I'm having to try and figure out. Um, I put in Romney for Nazarite. Uh, kind of forced to put in Car uh, Kofi Sarkoti at right back. And uh, who was the other player that was called up? Oh, Godoy. So uh, Anunga. Uh, we'll take Godoy's spot. I did drop Dax McCarty to the six. He's just a better ball winner. All right. Um, Orange County coming out in a 4 2 3 1. Looks like they're putting something together here, though. They got a highlight going, and they go to the far post, and Willis has to make a save. 
All right, let's pull it together here, guys. Ooh, Willis, another save on that corner. All right, Romney wins the long ball. And Willis scoops up that through ball and going the other way now. Romney out to Leo. Now takes it to the byline, cross, headed away, shot by Mukhtar, goes over the bar. And we have a corner. Mukhtar puts it in the box. And we have a goal on the corner. Dax McCarty puts it away. Uh, Romney headed it first, but it was saved by the keeper. McCarty is there to clean up that trash. And, yep. Simple little one-touch. Hit Puts it in the back of the jar, and we've got a one nothing lead. And Lovitz wins it. Get back to Willis. Amadi out to love it. Mukhtar back up to love it, who got himself into a good spot. And there's Leal right in the middle. And ah, yeah, we got a penalty. All right, the Mukhtar should be taking it. Put it away, honey. Put it away. Goal, and we are up 2 0 in the USL Championship game. Keeper guessed wrong. Mukhtar guessed right. And so we got up, we're up 2 0 now. Do a little praise here. So Cody puts it up. Oh, Liao. A good spot, trying, to, but he couldn't bring it down. And Orange County clears it. And we have another corner. Uh oh. And now here's a counter going the other way off that corner. But McCarty snuffed it out. Hold his lead. Oh, you know what? Let's build on that lead. Dave Romney heads it in on a, as Mukhtar puts the free kick to the far post. And Romney beats his man. Heads it in, and we have a 3 to nothing lead. All right, so that half went about as well as you can expect. All right, guys, let's get it going. <clears throat> Right now it's all Orange County, and they score on the free kick. And Evelson. And Evelson slots it in right past Willis. Willis is pro well, Willis is right there. Should have made the save. So it's 3-1. We better be careful. Tar puts it up to love it. It was far post to Leal, who heads it into the keeper's hands. Oh, then Lottie took that throw in away. And nothing came of that, but we still have the ball, so. Any Baba to love it. It's to Mukhtar. Mukhtar attacks the space, and then can't get that pass through. Mm. Okay. We got to figure something out here. Yeah, they're very attacking now. Oh, I gets it up to a cam. Cam skins the defense and can't get it past the keeper, but they clear it out for a corner. So looks like we're going to kill this thing out. I'd like to not give up another goal. Cam back to Mar. Let's go, guys. Finish it out. Finish it out. Mar has it again. Goes back to Willis. Willis up to Mokhtar. Oh, we have a nice sequence there. Ends with a shot, but do the keeper saves it. And this should be it. Last kick of the ball right here. Come on, come on, come on, ref. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Baji to a Cam, to Madranda, to Sarkodi. <laughs> we are now almost a minute past what the, the guy said are you a liar sir are you a liar mr keeper you said four minutes and now we're into the sixth i know it's hard to let a game go there we go and 
Match is over. Nashville SC in their final season USL Championship bring home the trophy after a 3-1 to one win over Orange County. Uh, not the best of performances, but all things considered, with three of our starters not even on the bench, that was a um, that was a great win for us. So obviously, um, big accomplishment. One thing that's very important is that it accomplished the goal that the, the board set for us. So um, we we passed the open cup, right? The board wanted us to get to the round of 16. We made it to the final. Of course, we lost, but you know it happens. Uh, we did win the USL championship, but they, it, it, very important. It's required is what they, the importance they put on it. So we got that done. We won the regular season. Um, and then we were supposed to reach the USL cup. We did all those things. Then they wanted us to win the USL cup and we passed that. So achieving all the goals was important because right? who knows? I mean, who knows what a board is going to do? We might've gotten sacked before we even made it to MLS. But now we can look ahead. We can look to MLS. So our next episode will be e evaluating the squad, where we've got to improve, where we got to get better, um, and how we're going how we're going to go about doing that. And MLS is a lot different than other leagues because you know what I can the draft is going to play a role in building this team and and what. Uh, you know what the team is going to look like going forward i can really now start to establish the, the club's identity what i want the team to look like how i want us to play um which you know i mean obviously it looks like it all worked right we did not lose a match in the league all season the only match we lost uh was in the open cup final so that's the only negative result that we had so um so Next episode, we'll be looking ahead to 2020, our first year at MLS. So this is Uncle Sam FM signing off of the Iron Manager series. We'll see you next time.